What's up? This is Long Ashes Punch, and this is the Crap Network Podcast, episode number 8, December 2nd, 2013. Crap Network, a streaming pile of crap entertainment. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Long Ashes Punch. What's up? And uh, coming at you with a uh, special review here. Punch got a promotion yep. in his job, so he's moving up. Moving literally up. Yeah, to Columbus from Cincinnati, so up yep. north. So he's moving on up. <laughs> but uh, he won't be around as often as uh, he, he normally is, since he'll be a little bit farther away, so we figured we'd get a good review in here. And we are going to be reviewing the new CAO Christmas Holiday Blends, the Evil Snowman, and the Angry Santa. Yeah, these things have a pretty badass label on them. Yeah, I'll actually post some pictures of them and put it up on the thing. Yeah, that way we don't have to walk up there. Good deal. Yeah, the labels are fucking really awesome looking. They are. They're they're like something out of like a, a goth. Christmas. Almost like a Tim Burton. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. it is. It reminded me a lot of the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. And the thing that I think is hilarious is on uh, the CAA website they say that uh, this is inspired by something. Rick, that, Rick, Rick Rodriguez or something. Yeah. 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 That happened to him as what as a child at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> they still haven't posted yet on what happened. They said they're going to post that later, but uh, he was gangbang raped by a oh, angry Santa. Santa, Santa and a, Evil snowman. Snowman, yeah. <laughs> he had a deep throat of carrot. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> no, but uh, these are the uh, La Triviata blends, but uh, modified. Same wrapper. The uh, Angry Santa is the natural, and the Evil Snowman is the Maduro. And uh, they, what they did was they selected higher primings on the plant. And then they did choose a, a, a slightly different blends of the tobacco in order to get more of a spicy, complex flavors. They said that the Angry Santa, the wrapper is an Ecuadorian Habano, the binder is Broadleaf, and the filler is Honduran Nicaraguan. The Snowman is a Connecticut Broadleaf for the wrapper, a Honduran binder, a Nicaraguan Dominican, and. And the filler is a Nicaraguan Dominican and Piloto Cubano for the for the filler. So what is Piloto? Piloto Cubano. Oh no, that's part of Dominican Dominican Piloto Cubano. Oh, it's all it's all, yeah, one, it's all thing. one thing. Shows how much we know. Right on. Well, just looking at mine, the uh, the snowman it looks tasty. It uh, it does. It's got a really like toothy kind of uh, sheen to the wrapper. Yeah. Really dark. Yeah. Uh, just you can tell it's constructed really well. So it's CAO. I, I don't have. I don't really expect much less from them. Yeah. It's got a uh, a decent smell, even though like um, my nose is kind of stuffed up right now. So that's yeah. I don't get much from the body of mine, but from the foot of the Angry Santa, mm-hmm. I get uh, lots of pepper and spice yeah. smell. Yeah, that's where I picked up most of the smell of mine too. Was the foot. I mean, the body, yeah, not so much, but that's all right. Yeah. Sounds like maybe these two might be pretty similar in flavor profile, but we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably trade. Which is interesting because they call this one a Maduro and that one more natural. A natural. Yeah. Maduro. Natural Maduro, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. They look. If you put them up next to each other, they yeah, look, both they, of them look pretty dark. Yeah. It, your natural doesn't have that that typical natural wrapper. Yeah. 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 We'll also be drinking a, a good beer here, too. We'll talk about that when we come back, but this is the bottle of Sam Adams New World. It's a golden triple. Huge Sam Adams fan, so yeah. I'm, I'm really excited about this. Yeah, I heard it takes, like, a couple minutes to get the cork out of the bottle. So does it really? Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> it's like jammed in there or something, from what I read. But now right, we're going to clip these, light them up, start smoking, and... Bust and we'll, that bottle open and start drinking. That's right. <laughs> we'll be back. Hey, what's up? We're back, and we're just smoking the Angry Santa and the Evil Snowman. I have to think about that for a second every time I yeah, say Yeah, you want to go backwards, right? Yeah, like, like the Angry Snowman the angry and the Evil snowman, Santa. Snowman, the evil snowman. Which one is it? The fucked up Christmas characters. Yes. <laughs> the deranged memories of one man's childhood yeah. <laughs> Christmas. 
<laughs> Snowman now. In tobacco, <laughs> tobacco form. Santa, help me. That's, that's Santa guy now. Oh, I'm so angry. No, but the uh, angry Santa, uh, pretty good. It's got a uh, really good draw to it. Uh, real smooth. There is some pepper and some spice, some earthiness, and then as I start to smoke it a little bit more, I'm, I'm getting a little bit into it now, probably about an inch into it, I start to pick up some nice cream to it as well. So, good stick. I mean, uh, I remember the La Triviata, especially the natural one, and it was a good stick, but it was a little bit rougher around the edges from what I remember. So, this one is a lot, a lot smoother, so I think they've you know, put a little bit more higher quality tobacco in these. These are limited, by the way, to like 1,500 boxes of 14 buck in a count. So, but so far so good. Yeah, on the uh, Evil Snowman. Yeah, Evil Snowman. The uh, it, it's it's pretty solid. I, I mean, the, the one issue that I'm having is the draw. It's a little bit tight, but uh, it's good enough that I'm getting smoke through. So it, it's. It's not like a, a deal breaker for me. And uh, yeah, the, the, there's like a vast difference between the two. But, oh, there was, but it's, but yeah, I took a couple of hits off his, and I mean, it was a tighter draw, but it's, it's not. It's certainly not a deal yeah, breaker. It's not for but it's good smoke. It's really smooth. Uh, the flavors that I'm I'm picking out maybe more on like the cedar earthy tone. Uh, I haven't really picked up any of that like that pepper spice yet, but I mean, there's still a lot of stick to go, so. Yeah, but it's 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 really solid, uh, and especially for the price, which I don't think we've talked on that yet. No, we didn't. Uh, these which, are in the five dollar range. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for four of them, it was like a little. It was like after tax, it was like twenty three dollars for oh, four. Oh yeah, no, that's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and these are uh, six and a half by fifty two. Is the vitola on the? And there's just one vitola, and like I said, the boxes they come in fourteen counts. You buy the box, it was like seventy two dollars for a box. You know, I'm thinking about it and does CDL really have like a, a really pricey line? Uh, well, I mean the Supreme Triviatas were always their slightly cheaper line. But I mean even their regular sticks, like the MX two, the Brasilia, the Italia. Not too bad. They're not I mean even they top out at what maybe nine eight, nine dollars a stick. Yeah. So, I mean, CAO has never been terribly expensive. No, no, no. no. Well, like I, said, I mean, they're not as budget friendly as, like, Perdomo or something. But, right. But, but, like, with the exception of the, uh, the Sopranos. Yeah. That one tops out, I think, right around 13, like, 12 or 13. Yeah, it does. Which I've never actually had that one before, so. I have. It, it's good, but it's not worth the price. Yeah. yeah. But, but, yeah, no, this is really good. And uh, I know CAO just came out with another new line. Uh, not that long ago, the uh, the Flathead series, which I've had the pleasure of trying, and that's that's a really good one too. How much are those? The uh, the big block, which is their seven by seventy box press, is about eight dollars. That's not bad for seven by seventy. Right. Yeah. Like some of the smaller lines on the on those uh, flatheads, like maybe like a or a Busto size, like a five by fifty, or like a Toro size, like a six by fifty two, something like that. It's like uh, around six bucks. So, yeah, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Uh, we're also drinking a pretty damn good beer here. Damn good beer. Uh, Sam Adams New World. It is an ale aged in oak barrels. It's a golden tripel. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I always say triple, but with notes of spice and tropical fruit. It's 10% ABV. It's got an 88 rating on beer advocate. And it's damn good brew, real smooth. It might be one of the smoothest beers I've ever had. It's yeah, just especially no, for 10%, man. Yeah. I mean, you can taste the alcohol, but it's, it's so smooth. And right. On the pour, it had about a two or three finger uh, head on it, real frothy, and it, it sat there for a while, too, before it went away. So, you know, good carbonation to it, uh, fruity, spicy notes. You know, I think sometimes when, when brewers are trying to make a smooth beer, they just wind up making an empty beer. You know, you get that beer with, that yeah. just tastes flat. But this is so not that. No. I mean, this is smooth with, like, all the flavor. Oh, yeah. And, and you've got a little bit of that bite. But that bite is, isn't from, like, uh, like hops or from... Yeah, I mean, it's a, there's a little bit of hops in it, but not right. enough to really... But the bite that you usually get on a beer is, like, from hops or carbonation or something to that extent. 
but the bite you're getting on this is just really from alcohol. <laughs> the bottle's pretty unique too. Yeah. That a cork, you actually pop the top. So that was pretty cool. It's $9.99. I spotted it. I wasn't even gonna really buy anything. I was just, you know, going by the beer aisle with my cart and I happened to notice it in between like uh, a fucking 24 pack of Budweiser and a 24 pack of like Coors or something. Yeah. Like it was like in between some two shitty beers. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Did somebody really put that down and say, oh, I'll take Budweiser? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, that was where they had it. Oh, that's where they had yeah. it in the store? I pulled it out and there was like more back there and there was the price tag right there. It was like, well, okay. they picked a really dumb spot. For yeah, that. that was weird. Uh, the, our local grocery the store, Jones? no, Kroger's. Really? Yeah. Yeah, our local grocery store here, uh, one of them anyway, it's called Kroger's. So they're in other states too, but they're not probably They're not everywhere. everywhere. They're, they're, not everywhere, everywhere but they're like East Coast. Yeah. Like East and into, 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 into the coast. South. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, sometimes they actually have some decent craft brews there. Yeah. Uh, there's a craft brew section specifically in our store that's set aside just for that, which is pretty sweet, you know, because you don't normally see that in grocery stores. But anyway, the, yeah, the, this I spotted it between two crappy beers, and I wasn't going to buy any beer, but just seeing it there, you know, like, I, I kind of had to purchase it. It's like, I got to okay, give that a try. Yeah. I got to give Sam Adams props. It's it is really a damn good beer. Really good beer and, like, a really awesome bottle, too. And this is, like, one of those bottles you like to save. The only thing I question is... If it's worth the price, mm, which yeah. the high alcohol content kind of well, I mean this is like helps. one of those like pint and a half or or like the well it filled up two pint glasses and then you ha- should still have a yeah. little bit left right? yeah there's still some left in here yeah. too it's nine point one pint and nine point four fluid ounces so. but I mean you're talking about that is actually more than a, your standard Sam Adams six pack. But, yeah, yeah. but it's also, like like we said, it's like higher alcohol content. Yeah, 10%. And it's yeah. also uh, it's aged in barrels and stuff. Right. So, I mean, it, really, it really is better. Beer. It really is better than than your typical uh, than your typical Sam Adams, yeah. which, I mean, is already good. So, I don't know. It's definitely it's something I think it's worth trying. It's on par with the Imperial series, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, it's not something I would go out and, like, get, you know, get every time I'm out the store when I'm, you know, shopping for my uh, weekly beer, which makes me sound like an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all have weekly beer, man. But, um, but no, I mean, like, something on the weekends or celebrating something, or, you know, it's definitely something I would, I would go out of my way for. Yeah. Good brews, good sticks, and keep smoking it and keep drinking it, and uh, we'll be back in a bit. Yep. Whatever. Well, Hey, what's up? We're back, and we're just uh, finishing out the. Burr. Hmm? <laughs> Burr. We're that's just... what I said. Yeah. Oh, that's a good review. It's <laughs> a good review. Of the that's beer. that's the that's the review of beer. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was I was burp- it was so good I was burping it up to yeah. taste it again. <laughs> that's how you know it's a holy grail. It is, yeah, it is a very good beer. I know, I, I know we're going to talk about the cigar, but yeah. I, I just got to say that beer is, is freaking phenomenal. Oh, yeah. like, I was hoping there was more. I, 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 once I finished, or I was kind of, you know, close to the finishing, and so I poured some more in there, and I didn't even get another half a glass, unfortunately, but I was hoping for, like, So it, it's really glass. just like, a, and these are just your standard, like, what, 12-ounce yeah. pint glass, something like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, well, no, maybe these are the pint glasses are 16 ounces. Yeah. yeah but uh, filled up two of them and, and just a little bit more. Yeah. But so two, so, like two and a half beers maybe at the most. <laughs> right. So you're you're spending a pretty penny for two and a half beers. But yeah. I guess if you think about it, if you go out to like a restaurant and order a beer, you're probably gonna spend about five six bucks a beer, and you're not gonna get something that's quite this good. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to think about it that way. Every it's it's worth it. Type of thing. Right, it's yeah. worth it. Yeah. I mean, Sam Adams has some pretty good offerings just in their regular price range, too. Oh, absolutely. So, I mean, I, I definitely yeah. try those out. You know, check their, their winter pack right their winter now pack, is, yeah. is pretty sweet. Yeah, I think I've had most of the ones in there. Yeah. Um, 
the the cherry chocolate bock is freaking phenomenal. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I'm not even much of an IPA person, but their their juniper IPA that's really that's good. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I don't even like I said. It, it's got that IPA hoppiness to it, but it it tastes so good that you can forgive that. Yeah, there's some sweetness that kind of kills yeah. the hoppiness a little bit. Right. Yeah. And uh, but is it like the old Fezziwig or something? Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good too. That's decent. Yeah. And then you've got the uh, the winter lager. They also have the uh, light Christmas. Oh yeah, yeah it's, it's in there too. Yep. Yeah. See, I, I've got I still got some of that left in my house, and I haven't even tapped into the white Christmas yet. Yeah. Yeah, the White Christmas is really good. I like that one a lot. Yep. It's, it's got some good spices in there. Yep. So, um, good white ale. so yeah, you can tell that we're we're both pretty big Sam Adams fans. Yeah. And uh, and for good reason. They oh, they yeah. put out some very quality beers. It, it's I really one of these days I want to go up to Boston and and, and uh, tour their their brewery. Yeah, they're they're wee heavy. They're uh, imperial white. Oh. Their, their imperial uh, Russian style that they have. I don't know if I tried the Russian style, but yeah. Yeah. That that uh that double jack that they come. Is double it, jack. Is it called double jack? Yeah. Yeah. That they come out with right around Halloween. That stuff is good. They have like a regular sure. like harvest pumpkin. That's okay. But That's all right. Yeah. The, the yeah. double the double, double jack, jack that shit is. Yeah. It's like on par with the uh, Southern Tears pumpkin. All right. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. But, but yeah, the, uh, the cigars that we were smoking, CAO. Holiday Special Edition. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, it's the La Triviata line with with uh, some extra kick to it. They went to the high primings of the plant, so they picked everything up on the top, uh, mixed the blend up a little bit, and I'm, I gotta say that the Angry Santa and the Evil Snowman mm-hmm. is a little bit that I smoked for that. Both good good sticks, good stogies, a lot better than the La Triviata line. I mean. That's a decent cigar anyway for the price. I mean, it was right. more of a cheaper budget stick, but whatever they added to this, it, it I think it kind of ups the ante a little bit on it and, and ups the quality of it. So you're smoking yeah. something a little bit more on par with like maybe an MX2 or something. Yeah, as far as the Snowman goes, I mean, just really full flavored. Like they, they, they call it a Maduro, and, and you don't taste maybe like that, that pepper, that, that, that kind of flavor, but. It's just a really bold, like cedar, you know, earthy sweetness kind of a taste to it, and it it settles well on your palate and it just kind of sticks there. It's really good. Then I get from the Angry Sand, I get uh, notes of uh, cream, spice, everything nice, gives that earthiness to it. So yeah, it's like uh, definitely tasting Nicaraguan in it. I mean, that that's one of the the key components of of the Angry Sand is it. Nicaraguan in it, and uh, I, I, can, I guess I can kind of tell a little bit with the evil snowman. It has like that Dominican, and a little bit you can tell that. Right. A little bit, but like like if any of you guys have ever smoked an LFD before, yeah, it, it kind of in that neighborhood. Yeah. Um, maybe not maybe not quite as good as an LFD because I, I that's one of my, actually that's one of my favorites. Yeah. But uh, but no, it's still very quality. Oh yeah. Um, and especially for the price, I mean, geez, five dollars. Oh yeah. It, it, which honestly, it, it being such a limited run, it surprises me that they're that it cheap. for everything. Fifteen hundred boxes of uh, fourteen count boxes. Yeah. The boxes are pretty sweet too. It has the same artwork as the label. Right. It's black, and then on the top, it actually has like the the label painted on it. So, so I'm gonna have to actually pick up one of those boxes because. Like, I'm nubbing this thing out right now, and it's getting kind of late. I'm probably going to have to go to bed here soon, but I want to smoke another one. <laughs> yeah. That's how good this was. It was it's, it's been a while since I've had a cigar where I was like, yeah, I want to keep smoking. And, right. And I'm, I'm, I'm nubbing this thing out. My fingers are burning right now. Yeah, CAO, put out, they, they put out some very quality sticks. They're, 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 dependable, they're a dependable cigar manufacturer. But, yeah, I will say that uh, I don't necessarily get anything specific from the holiday season with it you know like, yeah yeah you know, I like mean it, you know how uh, uh, Quesada has the Oktoberfest and mm-hmm. it kind of has like that fall spiciness taste to it you know and that's what it's going for yeah these are a holiday blend but to be honest I haven't, didn't like get anything specific holiday reminding me in the smoke 
but right. I don't really know what you could. I don't know what you could put in a, uh, a smoke that would make it taste like Christmas. So I don't like, know, like maybe something like really spicy, almost like a ginger. Yeah, maybe put some ginger in it. Yeah. I don't think you want to be smoking like a Christmas tree. <laughs> no. But I, I mean, maybe I actually have had some cigars before that had like a pine taste to it. Yeah. But, yeah. But. Yeah, but but yeah. No, no, very good. Um, yeah. y- y- these might be a little bit hard for you to get your hands on just because they're so limited. But if you happen to catch them at your brick and mortar or yeah, call your local brick and mortars and pick them up mm-hmm. while you can. Do you know if they're available online? I have not seen any place online sell them. Well, then you're gonna have to take chances at your brick and mortar. Yeah. But, but yeah, um, I know Jungle Gems in the Eastgate area of Ohio is uh, east of Cincinnati. If you look online at uh, junglegems.com, I believe, you might be able to do some mail order with those guys. Uh, call them. They might be able to hook you up. Yeah, maybe. But, uh, yeah, I called the Party Source. which is another local tobacconist in our area. Pretty big one. Mm. Uh, they did not carry it. Yeah, so there you go. So, yeah, pretty rare. But great beer, great stogies. Punch will be missed. Thank you. I'll he'll, be. I'll be back. He'll he'll, he'll be back. Not as often, but right. he'll, he'll definitely be back. Punch got a promotion. All right, moving on up. Moving on up. That's about it. It's long ashes and punch. Keep it smoky.